your basic home glucometer. In this bag, you have your glucometer strips, which you want to make sure you check the expiration date. And once it's open, it's only good for four months. You have your blood glucose control solution. Check the expiration date. Once it's open, it's only good for three months. And this is done Q shift, your quality control check to make sure your machine is working and functioning properly. You have your alcohol prep, you have your two by two gauze, and then the blood lancets, which is a 30 gauge. So make sure they're sterile. And then you have have your lancing pen which we're going to prime and get ready to go so starting with the lancing device you um, want to put the lancet in so in order to do that it's in lock mode so that little arrow point, pointing to the side with an arrow up that means it's locked so to unlock it you are going to push this up and then it's going to release the cap. I also wanna highlight on this releasing button right here, it's clear. When the needle is engaged, it's gonna turn orange, so keep an eye on that. So I took off the cap and then with my lancet, you can see there's little grooves all around it, okay? And that is what is going to hold and fit in place inside here. So you're going to put it in and you're gonna hear that sound we're engaged and now the clear is now orange okay so that's in now you're gonna um, take off this safety cap you're gonna pull it off twist 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 okay you're gonna put that cap down because you're gonna use it later and then you're going to put the cap back on and when you have it on you're gonna twist it to lock it and you hear that snap again. To the side here are little blood drops and there's six of them. There's zero, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And the smaller the number is, the smaller the puncture site is. So what I see it as is this would be the tiniest puncture site, which is your one and two. Your three and four is like for your average skin. And then five and six, is a deeper puncture site. So that's more or less for like your patient that may have um, calluses on their fingers. So you can move it based on what you think is the best setting for the patient. For me, I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna go nice. So now we're going to um, put the strip inside the glucometer, okay? I'm gonna get one strip out, just pull out one and then you close it immediately. And then I'm gonna put the strip in here. I'm gonna let it turn on and it's checking, it's reading. And now I know it's ready because there's a dripping blood sign there and says, so now that tells me that it's ready. So I'm gonna get my finger ready. Okay, you let that dry for about 20 seconds. And then when you are going to puncture the skin, you always wanna go on the sides, never in the center, always the sides. And I always ask my patients what side they prefer. So I'm gonna puncture, I'm gonna push down, okay? I'm gonna wipe off the first set of blood, and then I'm gonna feed it in the machine. And then it's gonna count down. I'm gonna grab the gauze and apply pressure to my finger. And there's my blood glucose level, 93 milligrams per deciliter. And then I am going to take off this strip. I'm gonna put this in the sharps container. Having my gloves on, I'm going to take off the cap from here. Be very careful because that's a needle at the tip. You do not want a needle stick. You're going to get the cap and poke it in. You hear that gauge again, okay? And then you're going to go to your biohazard and you're gonna push the release button and it's gonna go inside the, the biohazard. And then you're done. And you're gonna wash your hands and document. If you appreciate the content, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you, my friend, on the next one. Take care.